What's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a text box to create dynamic titles and warnings and messages on your Power BI report. Stay tuned. If you find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam and this guy. Dynamic titles, messages on your reports. I've done videos on these, but I've used the card visual. And there's nothing wrong with the card visual, except you can't do certain formatting things that you could do with the text box. I've also used buttons to do this, but buttons are for button type things like navigation and control displaying and hiding options. They're not for displaying titles and messages and stuff. And so I was preparing a demo for another video and I stumbled on using the text box to display something. I was like, wait, I should do a video on that first. So you guys know what I like to do instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. So let's say you have a report like this and every time someone selects something from this, you want to tell them, hey, you're showing the subcategories for this category because this slicer, maybe it's not displayed on the page, it's in a slicer panel or you have it in the filter pane over here, but you want to give them a visual indication of what's selected. Now I have it as a slicer because I'm using it for demonstration purposes, but how would you do it? Before, what I would have done is I would have created a measure that will display what I have selected. And if you're interested in this, I did videos on how to build this. There's actually a quick measure that'll do it for you. And there's some other things you should do to this to make it a little more efficient. But for the sake of brevity, I'm using this approach. But let's say you wanted to display, whenever you choose accessories, a little message come up and said, these are the subcategories for this accessory. How would you do it? Well, initially I would have either used a button. Like I said, I don't like to use button for these things, but you can, or card. And so I'm gonna use this card visual, and then I'm gonna take this display method, drop it in there, and then I gotta go format it up and hide this and do that. But you can see if I pop this right here, I choose two, you can see it's subcategories for accessories and bikes and on and so forth. I don't like this, so I'm gonna delete it. And there's some limitations with that card visual. Specifically, I wanna align things to the left or the right, or maybe I wanna center and you can't do it with that card visual, but you can with the text box. Let me show you. I'm gonna click in my white space. I'm gonna go to insert and I'm just gonna choose a text box. I'm going to take the text box bring it up here and I'm gonna say click value and I've created my measure. Remember my measure, I'm gonna just start typing the name of my measure in, display message. You can see right there, it says subcategories for accessories, comma bikes, click save. Now watch this, I can center it, I can right align it, I can left align it, I can bold it, I can italicize it, I can change the font all right within the context of the text box itself. And I like this left alignment that I don't get with the card and it's not a button because if I use a button, I need to go and do some conditional formatting of the text. But now I have lots of control of what I can do. If I uncheck everything, it's going to say subcategories for all category. If I choose bikes and clothing, subcategories for clothing, bikes, accessories, and on and so forth. It just works. It's easier and it's cleaner to me. And instead of using a button, because like I said, a button is to perform some type of action and a card is probably used to display some type of value instead of a a label or a title. But now that we've stumbled across this ability with the text box, whew, the possibilities are endless. Let me show you how you can use it with the title. Over here, I have sales by category. And so as I choose different countries, they shift and change based on that. And I like a title on my report to do it. Now I can use a card for this, but with my newfound discovery, I'm gonna drag this up here. I don't have to do much to use it. I don't have to turn off labels and all this kind of stuff. I can align it. All I need to do is go here, type in country. There we go, country title. Shows me what it's gonna show. Click save. I can bold this, I can center this, I can increase the font to 32, and now I have all the flexibility I need to get that up there. And now, category sales for France, category sales for Canada, and on and so forth. Just like that, it works. And there's not much I need to do. I can easily change my fonts and my colors. It just works. Just a few clicks. All right, what do you guys think? Did you know about this? Have you thought about this? Am I late to the party? I thought it was a cool video, so I decided to do it. All right, so you guys know what I like to do. If you have any questions, comments, you know what to do. Post it in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.